What's going on, y'all? We back in the building, man. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure y'all subscribe. Hit that like button for the, the, before the video even start, man. Um, this gonna be a, a pretty good video, man. It's another testimony video. Um, because even though I'm sure I'm talking about the good, you know what I'm saying? Everything that's good happening in my life right now. I also like talking about the bad as well. And just letting people know my life because like like I tell y'all bro, like I'm transparent. Anything y'all wanna know, I'll tell y'all. Y'all can y'all can hit me up, hit me up in the comments. Y'all can follow me on my Instagram at chosen chosen underscore underscore by um underscore underscore Yahoo. Follow me on Instagram. But um this video is gonna be about um my life before I came into the truth. You know, the things that I was going through and stuff like that. Um you know, he, <laughs> he brought me so far in one year. It is crazy, bro. This is only the most high. You can't do these things on your own. You can't do these things on your own. Um, Before I got in the truth, right? Um, I always, I always had doubts. You know, we're going to take it all the way back to 2012 when I was um in Job Corps. I always had doubts, bro. Like, I had a doubt. Like, I... I kind of knew, but I didn't have any any type of faith, nothing like that, you know. And um, but I, I always knew it was something, though. You know what I'm saying? Like my spirit was letting me know it's it's, it's something, but it, like I still had some, I had doubts. You know what I'm saying? So um, one day when I was at Job Corps, um, it was this thing called Faith Base, and um, this particular day we was doing um bible study this particular day they had like a special speaker in there or something like that and at the end we always would um pray so we all got in a circle now this is the first time that i felt the holy spirit i felt the real hakodesh we was in a circle and um i remember to this day i'll never forget this because it's the first time i felt it um we was holding hands my friend was on on my right side of me i was holding his hand and um the lady she was praying like she was into deep prayer bro and i'm just in my in my own like in my own world and i'm i'm just talking to the most i was like i was like god if you're real show me your presence and a lot of y'all not bro the, the third time that i that i said it i was like you if you're real i said god this this one i ain't know all the the names i was like god if you're real show me your presence literally as soon as i said it the third time the lady started speaking in tongues and i started and i and i felt the holy spirit and i started grabbing my friends um hand tight like I, I started grabbing his hand real tight like oh man <laughs> like i felt it and then I, I felt it bro i felt it i felt it going through me and um once once like the lady would stop stop praying like i'm looking around every piece of people on the floor crying like the holy spirit was in there like so bad that day bro it was so bad and man and i felt so good bro like i walked outside everything was vibrant everything was vibrant bro um i couldn't stop laughing I, it was uncontrollable i couldn't stop laughing like my friend that that would be he's probably looking at me like what in the world bro like why is you <laughs> he probably didn't even understand he didn't know what the holy spirit was either i think i i, I knew what it was though i knew exactly what it was even though i never felt the holy spirit i knew exactly what it was somehow and um and it was people outside like this is job course it's people outside so it was i know it was loud but everything just sounded muffled i was just in my own like world and this went on for like about 30 minutes to an hour you know um but um after that i was lukewarm though i was one of those lukewarm christians because i didn't know i didn't know no better i didn't know anything um i didn't know how to seek the truth yet i wasn't around the right people bad communications corrupt their manners i was lukewarm I, like i didn't have no wisdom knowledge or understanding at all i was reading the bible but i didn't understand it so you know i started going back to my old ways you know what i'm saying um i started partying hard bro like i started partying real hard you know like i said being around the wrong people <clears throat> can can take you right back to the times when you where, where you was before you know what i'm saying i stopped eating bacon and all that then i st I started eating bacon again after a few years like what the heck bro I started eating bacon again and, and pork and stuff and um just just partying you know like like just partying hard then I, like for the fornication just went out the roof bro 
I didn't, even at that time when I when I caught the Holy Spirit, I didn't even know fornication was a sin. I didn't know what sin was because guess what? These Christians, I was being taught by Christians, bro. These Christians don't don't go to the Old Testament, bro. I didn't know what sin was. I didn't know what sin was, bro. So I I was still out here unwillingly sinning. I didn't know I was sinning. I didn't know what I was doing, bro. Like I was doing all these things, drunkenness, fornication, partying, all types of like all types of wickedness, bro. I didn't know what I was doing. Cussing. You know what I'm saying? And um like then like I, I started going into in the like deep phases of my life, like um losing everything, you know what I'm saying? I lost everything. I was sleeping in my car at times, bro. Like it was one it was it was um one yeah, I um I, I lost my job as a matter of fact. Cause I was so tired of it. I was, I just I lost my job, I stopped going. Then um I lost everything. I had to sleep in my car for a whole week. I had to um go to strangers' houses. Like I I had to sleep in, in people's houses, bro. Sleeping on people's couches. Like it was it was real, bro. Like my life my life was was, was real, man. And I know a lot of chosen ones, they've been through the same thing. Cause a lot of us, y'all gotta understand, bro. Like we all been through the fire to get to where we at today. We had to go through it, bro. We had to go through it so we can have a testimony for for the unbelievers. And like, then um, fast forward, you know, after all those trials and tribulations, I was like, man, like I'm tired of being broke, you know. So I um got my city up, started driving a truck, and this when stuff really started getting wicked because money is the root of all evil like the money that I was getting you know it was it was ridiculous I didn't have the most high at this time anymore um and I was still kind of like having that was even even though I had that little thing that happened I, had, I caught the Holy Spirit for a little while that um first time I was, I was still having doubts though because you know what I'm saying like I don't know. I don't know why, but I was still having doubts. But I started drive when I once I started driving truck in 2018, y'all. Like I, I really started changing to a whole, a whole different person, and I, I started having too many pleasures. You know what I'm saying? And even the Bible says a uh, a man with pleasures, a man with pleasures will will surely be broke. And that's exactly how it was. I had too many pleasures. I was making all this money, but. I didn't have any money because I had so many pleasures. Like I ain't saying I, I I wasn't out here like paying for prostitutes and stuff like that, but like cars, you know, what I'm saying party and clothes, stuff like that. And and bro, I, I started becoming so wicked, it's crazy. Like to the point where like I it, I used to go to Dallas, I used to go to Dallas, not knowing what I was doing at all, bro. But I was with a a coat. I, I was literally in like a Illuminati type coat like thing, like, and they even called it a lifestyle. Same thing how they do in Hollywood. It's the, all that Illuminati stuff. I was in it, bro. Like, it was like a, a club. It was a club. <clears throat> and then you you go in. Once you're in the club part, right? Like, they got TVs with, like, like corn, porn playing on the TVs, bro. Playing on the TVs. They, like, it was literally. And then they had, like, rooms. Just like they talk about in Hollywood. How, how, um, um. How Cat Williams was talking about he went in the, in the mansion parties and it was like rooms, like certain rooms that he'll look in the room. Somebody was in there doing nasty stuff and then look in another room and they was doing crazy stuff. That's exactly how these rooms is, bro. Like they they had like like rooms on that side, which I won't go on over. They had like gay rooms over there and then they had like like rooms over here for like for like you know what I'm saying, like the straight people. And you you could have sex with anybody you wanted to. Anybody you wanted to, like it was so wicked, bro. When I when I look back on this, bro, it's so wicked, bro. That yo, I was living my life to straight damnation, bro. I was really participating in this stuff, bro. This was literally a cult, bro. And I didn't even know it, bro. Like all the spirits that that are, that was in that place is ridiculous, bro. Now that I think about it, bro. Mm, mm, mm. I swear, when I when I think about stuff like this, I can't believe how blinded I was, bro, and how how much of a hole Satan had on me, man. It's ridiculous, bro, how how much of a hole he had on me, bro. And I did I had no idea what was going on with me, man. I had no idea like sex was taking over my life, porn, 
all that stuff. It was really taking over my life, bro. It really, it really was, bro. Man, like I said, even though I was making all that money, bro, I didn't have no money. Satan just cut me exactly where he wanted me to be at. <clears throat> I wasn't prospering. I wasn't making it nowhere. And, um, um, my life been so crazy, y'all. My life been so crazy, bro. Like I wasn't, I wasn't even thinking about hell. I wasn't thinking about heaven. I wasn't thinking about where I went if I was to die that day. I wasn't thinking about none of that. I was just do as thou will. Just like Alice Carly put out. I was just do as thou will. Just like everybody else is right now. I, bro, I wasn't perfect, bro. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't perfect. I thought I was good. You know what I'm saying? Like I thought I was a good person, but bro, I was a wicked man, bro. A lot of people think like that just because they think that in their eyes that they're a good person, bro. That don't mean you're a good person in the most high eyes. I'll lead myself straight to the to the lake of fire, bro. And I ain't even know it. And you know, like I said, I still had doubts around that time until last year, bro. Last year he just said, you know what, forget this, bro. You who he said, forget this. This time we in the last of the last days, and you don't even see it. I, I wasn't even seeing it. He woke me up last year. Yahoo woke me up last year out of that. After all I've been through, he said, "Forget this. You're my. You're one of my chosen children." And it's it's about that time. I gave you so many opportunities, and I tried to wake you up so many times. I even tried to send you the truth. And you still didn't want to hear to the truth, so I turned you over to a strong delusion to make you believe believe a lie. Um, he even um, sent this one girl to me that actually knew the truth. She was letting me know that this Egyptology stuff that you're in is not it. She was literally trying to tell me exactly what the Bible was 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 trying to let people know, bro. The truth. She was letting me know. This is when I was I was in the Egyptology and all that crap, bro. I got a. A unk on my neck right here because of that because of that phase that I was in I'm, I was all into the new age stuff crystals I had crystals and all that bro I was a wizard bro dating witches like I'm telling y'all I was one of the wicked of the wicked bro for real bro of course I was in gangs and stuff like I'm telling y'all bro like the life that I that I used to live bro it's ridiculous man until last year like I say he I was in the hotel room and he filled me with the real Hakodesh. He allowed me to see the spiritual room. He allowed me to see the spiritual room. And I seen a demon that was probably attached to me since I was a kid. I don't know. But I seen a demon and he tried to jump at me. And all, the first thing that I said was I called out for God. He never left me. He never left me. He was with me the whole time. God knew who we was before we was even born. I was chosen. I was chosen from the jump. A lot of y'all was chosen from the jump. That's why y'all went through so much. Y'all went through so much for a reason. He woke me up, man, and I called off. I called off for him, bro. Man, he came right down, right, right to my rescue like it was nothing. He didn't leave me, bro. He didn't leave none of us. We left him. I left him, bro. I left him, bro. He broke me down, man. He broke me down in that in that room. He broke me down, bro. He filled me with the real high and I fell to my knees, bro. I fell to my knees, man, for eight hours straight, man. He 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 did this. Sending me all types of messages, sending me all types of truth, let me know you can't do this anymore, you can't do that anymore. I'm like, okay okay father okay thank you like thank you for doing this for me thank you for waking me up i tell i even tell him to this day i tell him to this day all the time thank you i tell him all the time thank you he ain't had to wake me up bro he ain't had to wake me up bro 
I'm telling you, man, every time I, I think about this, bro, it, it it really touches me, man. I'm probably I'm probably about to shed a tear right now, as a matter of fact, bro, because like it's so touching to me, man, because he woke me up and he ain't had to do it, bro. All this stuff that's going on, bro, this dang on, bro, this this world is about to blow, bro. It really is, man. And um, like he was just sending me so many messages that that night, man, when he filled me with the Holy Spirit, bro. Let me know what he wanted me to do, like all, all types of things, man. Let me know that every, everything that I know is not real. He woke me up that night, man. He woke me up that night. And, and all this time that I had doubts, <clears throat> he made sure this time, it ain't gonna be no more doubts after this. It ain't no more doubts after this. And I have no more doubts, bro. I am filled with the Royal Hakodesh. It's no more doubts. It's no more doubts, bro. It's no, it's no doubt in this. It's no denying this. He is the most high God of Israel, bro. He let me know that. He let me know that, bro. It ain't no more doubts, bro. It ain't no more doubts. He brought me so far, bro. He brought me so far. I'm a total different person from what I used to be, bro. Like I said, man, I got to post a video of how I used to be with my with my old trucking videos. Bro, I haven't drunk and liquor in since I don't know when. I haven't been to a club since I don't know when. Probably like last year sometime. Like, he changed so much, bro. I don't cuss no more. Fornication. I don't even know when the last time I had sex, bro. Like, when you feel with that with the Ruach, bro. It just convicts you. you. You know you're not supposed to be doing certain things. He lets you know before it even happens. Man, bro. <laughs> All praise to the most high, man. Hallelujah. He is with me the whole time, bro. Even now, I be still putting putting things together like, bro, I can't believe it sometimes, man. I can't believe it sometimes what he brought me out of, yo, because he ain't, like I tell you, man, he did not have to do it. He ain't have to do it, yo. Man. Then I, then I look back and I still see people that I grew up with still in the Matrix. I'm putting out all these videos, all these messages, and they don't, they not even listening, bro. They not even listening, man. I'm putting out all these messages for y'all, bro. This is for y'all. This not for me. I'm not doing this for me. I'm not selfish. When when the Most High filled me with the real Hakodesh that, that night, bro, he killed all my ego and pride. That same day. That same night he killed my ego and pride. He told me to look outside. Look at your car, bro. It don't mean nothing. He, this is what he's telling me to do. He talks to you not through words, but through telepathy, in a sense. He talks straight to your spirit. He told me, look at look at your car outside. That don't mean nothing. This is this is what he let me know. Look at my car. I had I got a Crown Victoria. I had 24-inch rims on it at the time. He told me, look at your car. That don't mean nothing, bro. That don't mean nothing. He said, look at look at your jewelry you got on. Look at your earrings. Take that mess off. It don't mean nothing. I don't wear no, I have no earrings in my ears, bro. It's, and it's, it's a sin for, for men to wear earrings anyway. We're not even supposed to be wearing earrings. We're not supposed to have piercings. You know what I'm saying? I got all these all these tattoos. Like, it don't matter. It, this stuff don't matter, bro. I repented the tattoos. I haven't got no tattoos and since I don't know when. Like, he let me, he let me know all these things. This stuff don't matter. It's all about our souls, bro. I seen that demon about to attack me. He let me know it's all about our soul. This is what they want. This is what they want, bro. This is what they want, bro. They want our, they want our souls, bro. You know what I'm saying? E even with with um with people that run in the houses and stuff, kicking those and stuff. Like y'all gotta understand, man. Burglars, bro. They don't go into no house that they know it ain't nothing valuable in. Satan knows we have something valuable to him. That's why he's trying to keep us in sin, bro. Y'all 
they don't, they don't understand, bro. Like I swear, I, I wish, I wish y'all could just, just fill everybody with the Holy Spirit. But I guess it don't, it don't work like that. It don't work like that, man. I got so many, so many people that I, that I love, man. That I can't even talk to no more. I can't talk to them no more because they of the world. And the Bible says, if you love the things of this world, the truth is not in you. The love of God is not in you. And you can't love this world and love God at the same time. You can't serve two masters. Either you love one or hate the other, guys. Um. Anyways, man, this video is way too long, guys. Anyway, man, if y'all haven't subscribed yet, make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all like, you know, share this video if, you know, you feel like somebody needs to see this video. I'm gonna love y'all, talk to y'all later.